Hey guys, my name is Kevin. Welcome back. It's day four of the Baritone series. I'm excited you're here, and I'm excited to share some new chords, a new strumming pattern, and most of all, spending some time just playing along together here on our ukes. So get tuned up, and let's get started. All right, so let's start off with some new chords here. So in the earlier lessons, we talked about the ease of playing a G chord on the baritone, which is just gonna be our ring finger here on the third fret on the E string here. So a couple of cool chords, and we're gonna do this in a progression right after this, that you can add to this, which is super easy, is the G major seven. So all you do is, I'm actually putting all three of my fingers down here on the little E string on the uh, second and first fret. So if I pull my ring finger off of the G chord, the G major seven chord, which is this beautiful dreamy sounding goodness, is just played again with one finger here on the second fret on the E string. Really nice sounding chord. And then to descend down another half step from there, we pull the middle finger off and we just have our index finger on the first fret and that's a G7 chord. So this really nice descending line you can get strumming all of the strings really sounds nice if you just go from G to G major 7 to G7. Another chord that I like to add for you guys here today is going from the C chord, which we learned earlier is shaped like this. A nice complement there is the C minor chord. So the way that I play that is I'm gonna drop my pinky down here to the third fret E string, and then I'm gonna put my index on the D string first fret and my middle finger on the B string on the first fret, and that sounds like this. Nice minor. And we're gonna use this in the progression as well. So really cool sounding chord. A little tip here, I have my hand Instead of having it flat like this with my elbow tucked in, I'm actually kind of swinging my arm out a little bit and also tilting my hand up towards the headstock to kind of help with the spacing here for this chord. So those are some new chords that we're gonna try today with one of the chord progressions. And let me show you the strumming pattern that we're gonna use. So in the other lessons, we've used everything in the 4-4 time signature. Today, we're gonna take a look at 3-4. So anything that you would play that's a waltz would be good for this. Songs like Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton or You've Got to Hide Your Love Away by The Beatles. Those are waltz feels. So if you take a listen to those songs, you can hear that one, two, three count versus the one, two, three, four count that you're used to. So the strumming pattern that we use for that, and I'm just gonna hold a G chord here, is down, down, up, down, up. Now that first down strum is accented, so it's counted one, two, and three, and. So again, I'm just using my index finger here to strum, trying to stay kind of on the pad of my finger. It's one, two, and three, and. So down, down, up, down, up. So it's okay to watch your hand as you're trying to learn this strumming pattern, pick an easy chord to work with, like G, where you don't have to focus on your fretting hand. You can really concentrate here on your strumming. So let's just try, we're gonna hold a G chord down with our ring finger and just kind of play through the strumming pattern. I'll count us through, just kind of try to get comfortable with this new time signature here. So here we go with a three count, nice and slow. And I'm just gonna hold this one chord. So one, two, three, down, down, up, down, up, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. Keep it going. I'm trying to accent that first note. Down. When I say accent, what I'm talking about is kind of putting a little more weight in your hand as you do that first down strum. It's not a speed thing or a timing thing. It's simply kind of attacking the strings with a little bit more weight in your hand to really get that one 
to really feel like it's moving the whole chord progression and strumming pattern. So down, down, up, down, up. So that's the strumming pattern we'll use here for our first play along. So get tuned up and let's check this one out. So I put together a really pretty chord progression for you guys today. So the chord progression we'll use here is kind of like what I talked about in the chord description here. We're gonna go from G to G major seven. Notice how I just pulled a finger off there to G7. And then we're gonna move to a C chord here. And then we're gonna end it with this tension filled C minor. So follow along below as we go through this progression nice and slow. We'll go through it a few times. I'll count us in one, two, three. So really try to feel that accent on the first down strum as we go through the progression here. Relax, smile, you're playing this warm, beautiful baritone uke. Life is good, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and two, two, and three, and one, two, and three, two, two, and three, and the C. Two more. To the minor. So now we're going to take a look at our first, wait for it, bar chord. I know you don't want me to say it, but the F chord is an essential chord to learn on the baritone, and this is how you play it. So we're going to start by barring the bottom two strings here on the first fret, and then we're going to add our middle finger to the G string on the second fret, and then in a nice upright position here, our ring finger to the D string on the third fret. So that should sound like this. I will mention here my thumb position on the back of the neck. I'm trying to pinch right behind my index finger, kind of right in between my index and my middle to get that pressure to squeeze down. So when you're playing a bar chord, and I have a whole series talking about bar chords if you want to check that out as well, but using your index finger has to be very, very flat here when you're playing this chord. If you have any bow in the finger, you're gonna lose this bottom note and hear this dead sound, and you wanna hear all of those notes nice and clear. I'll also mention keeping your fingertips close to the fret, having a little sliver of light between the fret and your fingertip is what you want to get that really nice tone. So that is an F chord. You might wanna spend some time just working on that chord by kind of putting the chord down, pulling it off, and just really working on the mechanics of using a bar chord if you've never played one before. So that's an F chord. The second chord, which goes really nicely with the F, is a D minor chord. So the D minor chord, we're gonna put our index finger down here on the E string on the first fret, our ring finger on the B string third fret, and our middle finger on the G string on the second fret. Nice dramatic sounding uh, minor chord here. And then the third chord is A minor, which we've used before. Looks like this. And then we pull our ring finger off of the A minor chord, and now we have a C chord. So those will be the four chords in this progression here. We're gonna continue with the same strumming pattern from before, but this is an exercise to kind of get you acclimated with using a bar chord in a sequence. Again, if you need to spend a little more time just working on the bar chord by itself, totally cool. But without further ado, let's jump into this progression. So we're going to do each chord two times, nice and slow. Feel free to roll it back if you need to practice this a bunch of times in a row. Play along with me 
I hope this helps you kind of get a feel for the bar chords and all of the baritone, all of the baritone chords in general. So here we go with a three count. One, two, three. guys i hope you had fun with this series the baritone is super fun to play so if you've grown to love the sound of this sweet kala baritone you're in luck because you can get this exact baritone if you look at the link in the description i am now a kala affiliate so any uke that you buy from kala directly helps support all for uke which is pretty awesome so i have baritones tenors as well as a lot of different accessories cases strings all kinds of good stuff that you can get through Kala Store if you go through All For Uke first. So just go to allforuke.com slash shop, and I'll leave that link in the description for you. I'd love to know your feedback about these lessons, so please comment below. If you like this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Follow, click the alert bell so that you know when the next video is coming out. And I have also put together some exercises for this that are available at allforuke.com where you can get a PDF, print it out, I put some extra chord progressions on there for you guys so that you can kind of really work on these chord progressions and get acclimated with bar chords, the strumming patterns, and really push your baritone playing. So my name's Kevin. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.